let's jump into getting started with Avail Harvest. Avail Harvest revolutionizes Revit container management, sharing, and usage. It enables you to easily maintain your Revit container files while also making the individual elements available in Avail for tagging and sharing and using. It also automatically indexes the content during the harvesting process and virtualizes out thumbnails so that you have these beautiful high resolution images for viewing and identifying your content. First things first, you'll wanna make sure that you have the latest Avail software. If you head to the Manage portal to the Downloads tab, you'll find the latest version of the Avail Desktop, Avail Browser for Revit, and Avail Harvest for Revit. Next, in the Avail Desktop, we'll create two channels. The first channel will be our Harvest container files. where we will index our container files into the channel. The second channel will be the output location for our harvest content, what we refer to as the destination channel, but you can call it whatever you'd like to. Once your files have indexed into your channel, you can switch over to Revit. And as a best practice, we recommend not having open the file that you're looking to harvest. So in this case, I'm just gonna start uh, a new file, say okay. And then I'm gonna jump into the add-ins tab and select avail harvest. And the first time that you launch avail harvest, you may need to log in, but after that, it should log you in automatically. Next, from the selected channel drop-down menu, we'll find the channel where we've indexed our container files. And then from the list, we'll select the file that we would like to process and then hit OK. In this menu, we're gonna select a destination channel. So this is the second channel that we created where Harvest is going to index all of the content into. So I'm going to go down and select destination channel. And then we have the option to select the source type. Selecting single container means that Revit elements will be plucked directly from the container file when users utilize an element. Selecting element level container will create individual containers for each Revit element and then users will be plucking the elements from these new containers. If you go with this option, then you'll need to select a distribution location uh, for these new newly created individual containers to go to. And that should be a location that is accessible to your end users. A few considerations when deciding on which source type. If you go with a single container, some benefits include the ability to drag and drop elements directly from the Avail desktop into Revit. The processing uh, will go a little bit faster than element level containers and it won't be creating these additional files. One consideration though as well with that is that really large container files may take longer to load so that uh, that might end in a user experience that's not preferred. Going with the element level container um, you'll get the benefit of much faster load times because it's only that single element inside of the RVT and there's also if you're planning to host this content in the cloud using the avail host and cloud feature then this is the way that you'll want to go. Some challenges here would be that you're not able to drag and drop directly from the avail desktop you'll have to go from the avail browser for Revit and it also creates these additional files so something to be aware of. If you aren't sure which method is best for you, we recommend trying both and seeing which provides the best experience for you and your users. Next, select the elements that you'd like to process. By default, Harvest will include drafting views and groups, legends, schedules, and sheets, but you can option optionally choose to include families and system families. Um, you can go by categories or even select uh, items um, by name specifically. So in this case, I'll just choose a couple things to include. And then we're gonna select start to do the processing. When it's all done, select close, and then we can jump back over to avail.
In Avail, we'll head to our destination channel and validate that our elements have shown up here and include the tagging, such as the container file that they were harvested from, the element types, family and types, Revit version, helpful things like that are all present. And now you're ready to harvest more or share out your channel with other users or go and harvest more content. Like we see here in our Avail Harvest Library channel where we've harvested out all sorts of different content that's ready for use by our users. And if an element has been updated, it's as easy as just coming back and reprocessing that element to update it within your Avail channel. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at getavail.com and happy harvesting.